so like this six needs uh, it's more of positive things if we take it uh, in a positive way it will raise the standards but some people take it in negative way also i mean it depends yesterday we watched this movie kerala story so some people have taken it negatively and it can feel i mean it can go to a destruction mode but the six needs is common whatever it be it for the better or be it for the worse right so we just give two examples to share about i mean practical story uh, which we have uh, uh, seen in this book right so about uh, uh, i'll share one example and she will share another story so this story is about uh, one story is about this couple called uh, paul and jenny right so uh, to give a background about this couple this couple is married for 9 uh, years and they have two kids right so initially uh, when paul married jenny i mean they were uh, good they had a happy relationship but what happened over a period of time is uh, you know right because of uh, two kids obviously jenny put on weight and uh, paul was not uh, uh, able to accept it because uh, she, he was always suggesting her to come back to weight or uh, he, he wanted her to be slim but uh, she was not able to understand the desire of uh, paul and on the other way like uh, jenny i mean uh, paul always uh, loved jenny because of uh, she taking care of the family being compassionate generous kind and all these things but uh, he had this uh, wanted this change from her uh, on the contrary like jenny uh, since she was married and after her first kid so she stopped uh, going for work so she wanted to take care of the family and because of this there was only one source of income that uh, coming from paul and that was not that great so for jenny uh, she felt little uncomfort because uh, for her the primary need was certainty that is the first need which i talked about that is comfort so since the finances were not that much good uh, for the family she was always uh, i mean if we rate on the scale of 1 to 10 10 being the highest on the uh, certainty level she uh, maybe uh, she would have rated paul 2 out of 10 so what happened because this primary need of her was not met the love was not free flowing okay so again there was a gap because of that so because of all these things happening paul uh, uh, like he uh, for past two years he was telling that uh, we will get separated or will uh, get divorced or something like that okay so because of this fear jenny was not able to talk much to paul okay because she is feared that he might leave her okay on the other hand he was also is is giving that fear just to feel significant right so that that uh, it, it is like a negative uh, reason to feel significant for him and he also like uh, started putting a lot of time in his work to feel significant on the on uh, jenny uh, because of finances part she was uh, she started getting some financial help from her family right uh, and she was emotionally uh, bonded and related so much to her children and her uh, sister or uh, parents uh, both finances and love and connection wise okay so she was de- not deriving love and connection from paul she was deriving it from her family and the primary need of uh, certainty comfort was not met by paul so paul always thought okay for uh, jenny i always come maybe third or fourth because she has family children uh, right before me okay so again there was a gap in both the side so maybe if you come to the solution part if at all jenny understands that the primary need of her that is comfort can be pushed to secondary need and she can put lower connection in the first place okay because i mean it can if at all there is a awareness issue right so if at all she knows that she can change it i mean it can be one of the solutions <coughs> so the on the contrary the other couple is maria and chris so uh, maria and chris educated i mean graduated from the same law school and uh, they almost of two two years of courtship in the same law firm um they get married and then um, eventually uh, if uh, they were like work, work buddies and they went together came back home together and they spent a good time around each other uh, while they were working together and two years down the line uh, uh, maria gives birth to the first child and uh, she decides to be a stay at home mom and chris is very happy about this discussion decision over she's like oh he's she's taken the priority and she's you're going to give all her time to the child but what happens over a period of time is he starts missing his work buddy and uh, she is not able to give the same time that she used to give before earlier whatever she used to give to chris she is not able to give that and one day he comes back home and he starts you know slowing showing slight resentment that he is not he is the only one earning bread to the family and uh, it's getting difficult for him Again, that goes on for some time they give birth to the second child now obviously the pressure has increased at chris uh, chris end because he has to work more to feed the family 
and uh, one day he shows an extremely strong resentment to Maria. He says, "You're not. You're just a stay-at-home mom. You're not doing anything extra. You're just, you know, it's everything dependent on me. You're just spending money of what I'm earning." And that shocks Maria. She's like, "They had a good relationship. They, they had a lot of love with each other." And but how suddenly this started to? Uh, I mean, this is coming up from Chris. And then she realizes she understands that he's not given the importance or the significance that he was looking for. and that he gained before when he they were work, work buddies or confidence and then she starts to appreciate him and tell him how important he is as a father as a husband as a friend and most importantly as the head of the family and initially chris won't be able to accept it because it's a sudden change right no, none of us can accept sudden change but it became a con, con, uh, you know consistent uh, and a constant thing that she starts expressing about her uh, yeah, about how important he is and then he starts to realize that he was missing the love that he was supposed to give her although she is a stay at home mom she's not sitting free right she she has multiple other tasks that she starts handling and she they start speaking about what's happening in a day probably uh, you know try since she also has the background of law she starts to understand what he's going through in a day what what, what are the challenges that she's seen and in the same time he starts giving her his time to her probably after a day uh, after his work he's able to spend more time so like that i mean uh, they started to understand each other's needs which was significance at his end and love at her end so uh, like that they started living that's their happily ever after so it's very important to understand and read between the lines of your partner's uh, you know um, reactions or behaviors probably there is something for us to change or start be start, start uh, you know uh, implementing to have a better relationship so the the needs it, i mean it, it may be same uh, from the beginning to the end or it can keep changing so every time or very often it will be good if we sit together and reflect on what are the primary needs the each uh, partner is looking for and i mean it just just doesn't apply just for relationships here or a couple i mean it also applies to individuals organizations nations civilizations like i mean as a whole so it all boils down to this uh, six needs So this is what we wanted to share and I hope this was a value add. Thank you so much.